Hey, Harrison, it's John. Good to see you, man. What's up? What's up? Uh, I figured you'd be in like a Range Rover or a Lambo truck or something. Oh, you God. No, but if you'd like <laughs> not to paying you enough. Right. I'll let you uh, be my uh, next negotiator here. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I, I know I know a couple of good car dealers. Okay. Yeah, I know you do. Um, from your perspective, uh, can you indulge us in what happened there uh, on the pick six from AJ? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, anytime you have guys out here take so much pride in what they're doing, um, you know, we it gets a little competitive out there. Obviously, we all know the tempo is and what's really happening right now in early June. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, tempers flare and there's sometimes a boiling point and this guy's going a little harder than this guy. And that's just things that come with the game. But that's also what brings people together. Uh, brothers fight all the time, uh, but they love each other, uh, you know, 100 percent. So, um, yeah, it's just it's just uh, football. Nothing, nothing unexpected. It's just uh, NFL football. Absolutely. Um, from your standpoint, obviously, we knew at this point a year ago, everything with you was, was regarding coming back and, and trying to work your way back. As things stand out, how do you feel physically? Where are you? How close are you to feeling like the player you were prior to the injury? Um, I mean, I definitely feel a lot, a lot closer to that. Um, you know, you, you hear all the time. It's mainly kind of two years removed from a, a significant injury like that. Uh, that's the players truly their, their self. So, um, you know, I'm just uh, counting the blessings every day. I'm working my ass off doing everything I can. Um, you know, this is a very important year for uh, the Buffalo Bills is very per important year for myself. And, um, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just working. All I'm doing is just working as, as hard as I can to uh, come back even, even better than I was, um, you know, in any previous year I've had in the NFL. As always appreciate you. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, Harrison, um, Matt Prino here. Uh, good to see you. Um, you know, as a team leader, you know, we saw that Greg Rousseau video when he when they first drafted him and you popped in there. And, you know, we've talked to you about, you know, your impact on Ed Oliver over the years. What do you say to a young guy like AJ Epines? I know it's just football, but in a moment like that where, you know, you can kind of maybe explain why maybe somebody took uh, something he did, you know, personally or whatever. Uh, re what do you mean? Frame the question a little bit differently. Um, yeah. So like, you know, if you, if you have a young player, you know, obviously AJ's in his second year and maybe he was playing a little bit too fast and maybe somebody didn't like that. What, what do you say? What do you, what do you use that, you know, as like a teaching moment or, or anything like that? Or, or do you even see that as your role as a leader? Oh yeah. I mean, I, I, um, let's see. I mean, this is a very, this is the most competitive business there is in, in anything. Um, and, even when you're the guy, you know, you're, you're the guy at your position, they're still bringing people in on Tuesdays during the season to try to take your spot or to find someone cheaper or whatever. I mean, that's, that's what this business is. That's why it's so cutthroat. Um, but, uh, you know, we all love it so much. And yeah, I mean, I've reached out uh, to all of our defensive ends and, and, you know, players every year when the draft comes around um, it's, it's amazing opportunity for some people, but you know, other guys kind of get a little insecure once the draft comes around, but you, you really can't take things personally in this business um, it, it's just, it's just what it is. And so I'm, you know, going on four years in it now, which is still, you know, barely anything compared to some of these amazing vets, but, um, I, I've seen the rotation. I've seen, you know, the, the cycle of a year in the NFL and the changeover. And so, yeah, just trying to be the light in each other's ear. But again, if you just, if you, if you do everything right, and if you're working as hard as you can to be the best of your ability, you know, I tell the kids that I work with too, you know, my playmakers, same with, same with the guys here, really any level, you know, you might not be able to be the absolute best at what you do, but you could definitely be your absolute best. And so, um, you know, you just try not to, to take things personally and just work on yourself and know that, you know, for, for AJ, for example, you mentioned his name, that the AJ Epinesa uh, today was better than the AJ Epinesa yesterday and that the AJ Epinesa tomorrow is better than the one today. And if you can just do that with yourself, I mean, uh, the, the cards will fall the, the way they may. Um, what have been, obviously you've been out on the practice field now with them for a few weeks. Uh, what have been your impressions of, of the rookies on the D line in uh, Boogie and Greg Rousseau? Um, number one thing, I think I said this last week too, um, they want to be good. And that's really important trait to have. They want to work. They want to, you know, if I'm after practice doing something on a sled, they'll come over and say, Hey, what are you doing? Uh, can you, can you explain why you're doing this? Or can you show me how to do this? So that curiosity, that desire to want to be good is the, you know, like the number one building block that they can build upon. And then they both just have some, um, uncoachable traits that are fantastic. And I think that as they start, as this, 
the speed of our practices start to speed up once we hit to training camp and, um, you know, a little more consistent of what this pace actually looks like. Once they find their, their rhythm in this, uh, in this league, I think that they're both going to be fantastic football players. Awesome, man. Thanks. Good to see you. Yeah, you too, Matt. Hi, Harrison. Matt Fairburn here. Um, you know, aside from, you know, what happened today with the little dust up, what have you seen from AJ Epinesa? Um, you know, I know he spent a good amount of time here this off season and uh, you do that as well. What, did, what have you seen about the work that he's put in and uh, kind of transforming his body a bit? Yeah, I mean, football is such an interesting sport where the weight room matters so much more than other professional sports. It, it, you know, in my opinion, I know I'm not in them, but I just feel that way. Um, and so, although, you know, if you're 10% stronger, it doesn't mean you're going to be a 10% better football player, but there is a give and take. And so uh, to see guys in the offseason like AJ and some of these other rookies going from one year one to year two or year two to year three, um, really take advantage of the offseason, really take advantage of still being young, having less snaps than somebody else. So you're a little fresher for the offseason. Um, I mean, I think his, his jump has been amazing. And I mean, everything I've seen from you guys, you know, you are kind of already on that trail that he's been uh, doing fantastic this off season and wowing a lot of people. And so um, again, super, super happy with him. What, what do you remember about year one to year two and maybe uh, some of the challenges or some of the, the, you know, benefits of having gone through a year and just what that transition is like? Uh, definitely a, a night and day on the me mental side of things, you know, rookie year, there's just so many emotions going into it. What am I get? you know, so that's a whole different ball game. And then two, you know what to train for, you know, that, that rookie year, it's combine training that does nothing for your performance on the football field and draft visits and, you know, all that gunk, um, in year two, that, that off season is just focused on being a, a great football player. And I know in my, after my rookie season, I took that year extremely serious, um, was doing two a days all the way through January, February, March, you know, after OTAs, I was staying after trying to be the last guy to leave those type of things and um, started off that next season, you know, playing pretty good football before my injury. Um, and so I think that that's the approach a lot of guys take going in their second year. Thanks, Harrison. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Global Harry, Mookie Hawkins, what's in Eddie? How's it going, big guy? Hey, good, good. What's up? And call it, man. Uh, you know, we are back again, you know, take care of business. Mm -hmm. And speaking of uh, what Matt was just talking about that year too, you know, I mean, how you, you, you worked out, you trained and, you know, you was having, you know, one of your best seasons until the injury came. Are you back to that same way come year four? Yeah, without question. So last, last off season wasn't able to do that because I was rehabbing the whole time. So um, you're working against your body and I couldn't in, Fe you know, in February last year, I couldn't even, I think I was just maybe running for the first time, like underwater or something, you know, like I hadn't even versus February of this year, you know, took a little, like maybe a week off of the Super Bowl and then um, was back to training twice a day, lifting, running twice a day, you know, my, my, my routine. And so, um, yeah, this, this off season for me feels very similar to the one uh, in 2019. Right, man. I seen you on vacation on the stairs you know, still working out, you know, still getting Yeah, we, we had a little family vacation for my dad's 60th, and, um, you know, you got to get it in whenever, wherever you can. Absolutely, man. And uh, speaking of getting it in wherever you can, um, this is year four for you with the same coaching staff, the same coordinators. How, you know, comfortable, you know, does that make you feel going into this season, and what are your expectations for this season? Uh, yeah, it definitely feels great uh, to have, uh, a lot of the same people in, you know, we had a new defensive line coach last year and with the virtual stuff, um, kind of hard to, to pick up the way he sees the game a little bit, but now a full year of that, very comfortable with Eric Washington and Jock, and um, it's, it's very nice to see familiar faces. Um, so I feel very confident in my abilities to retain our playbook and at least execute what they're asking me to do. Execution is a very big thing. Um, goals for the season, uh, personally, or as, as a team, or Either. However you feel. Yeah, I mean, as a team, first and foremost, you know, we want to improve upon what we were last year. And so, um, you know, the first game of the season is the most important game of the season because it's the next one we get to play. And the second game of the season is then the most important game of the season because it's the next game we play. And so uh, with that mindset, you know, our goal is to go one and know every week and, and you can do the math. Um, personally, uh, you know, first and foremost, God, Lord willing, you know, just health, health uh, all the way through the season. 
um, in a league that takes so much out of you physically. Um, and then, you know, be able to be dependent upon whatever my role is, execute my role the best of my ability, whether that's anchoring the run on first, second down and getting after quarterbacks on third down. Um, you know, I feel like I'll be in a, a very good position physically and mentally to be able to accomplish that. Always a pleasure, Harry. Enjoy camp. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Harry, Dante Lastin, good to see you again. Yep. How important is it to have high participation rates this early in off season training? And how do you think that'll help the team once the season begins? Um, well, I think uh, one of the benefits of people being around is the camaraderie and, and building a team. Um, I, I think that that's a, a good thing. And then, you know, especially for young players, being able to experience the, the playbook for the first time. And, um, you know, some of the second year players didn't have this last year. Um, and so just familiarity with our system and um, the way that the Buffalo Bills communicate, what our terminologies are, things like that are probably the biggest benefits. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Harrison. Yeah, is, uh, is are, are people still on or no? There's, yeah, there's probably about a dozen still on. Oh, I was just gonna say, uh, I got my big playmaker camp this Saturday in the stadium. I don't know if we put out a press release or not yet. Where go, no? But uh, this is your press release. Oh, this is, your this is my press release. So all media people, we got 200 kids uh, with developmental differences and special needs coming to the camp this uh, here in Bill Stadium um, on Saturday, 930 to 1, you know, totally free camp. We got fire department coming, police department coming, Jim Kelly's coming. The guys who are around will be there. Um, food, you know, the whole works. If you guys are remember you my camp from a couple of years ago. Yeah, absolutely. You guys come any, anytime you need to pull me off whenever you can arrive in that window. Um, I'll, I'll stop it. I'll, I'll probably be dripping in sweat because you guys know how much I like to get after with my kids. But um, if any of you guys can show up, I really appreciate that. It helps bring a lot of awareness to the kids I work with.